Hi. In this slide, uh, I want to give you a, an idea of the kind of line item profit analytic reporting that you might like to have. Um, in this particular case, uh, this is a, a client of mine who uses a, a, a web analytics subscription service from Waypoint Analytics. And what they've done here is they've said, let's take all of our stock keeping units and rank them. I'm going to go over here with my pen to the far right by customer popularity. So the very first item that, that's listed here is a film cutter box. I have no idea what it is, but you can see that 694 of all their customers. This is not niche customer focused, which is what we want to do when we we go after our number one niche. This just shows the general capability. Um, and 694 customers uh, bought this on on um, how many different occasions? Well, we generated they they generated this number of line items picked. Here's the total quantity of these uh, film cutter boxes that were uh, were picked. The grand total sales were two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, generating seventy-five thousand and change in margin dollars. At a, at for this guy, a pretty good margin percent, thirty-three point five percent. But the the loss after co the the cost of taking care of you know, all these picks and so forth, uh, net before comp compensation, was a loss of thirty-four hundred dollars. After compensation to the sales force for the cover of the account, the 694 accounts, the company actually lost $15,000 on the item. Now you can you can do some math. You could sort of say, well, let's take the 200. Let me first erase these things again. Um, you could say if we divided. 14,700 into the revenue, uh, you'd come up with $15.29 per unit. Um, if you've said, well, at 33% margin on $15, you're going to come up with about $5 in margin dollar per item. You can just go over here and see that the picks um, were obviously, it looks like about two to one. I actually did the math offline. It was uh, 1.9 uh, cutter boxes on average were picked when people bought it. So the average guy bought two of these things uh, for $30, or roughly $10 in, in margin. But this this company's got $10.50 in, in uh, cost put in to, to pick an item. Uh, so that's how they lost money. So you'd say, well, how do we fix this? And we could do it two ways. We could say, well, it seems to be such a popular item, and it's and it's picked so frequently that maybe we'll package them uh, th three per bundle. So you can't buy one. You you can't buy two. You, you can only buy three. And people might, you know, object and say, well, I only want one. Say, so, yeah, well, the, it's like going and saying I want to buy one AA battery or one piece of chapstick. Now the people you just have to buy pack three. Um, and don't worry, it's it's small dollars, and you're going to use them anyway, and it'll save you, Mr. Customer, another transactional activity cost. And they go, oh, okay, yeah, I hadn't thought thought of that. So I'm not saying that people won't want to keep doing what they're doing. You know, habits are habits, but um, that would be one thing. We could also look at the actual customers who who bought the these items, and we may find out that there are two, three, four customers who are buying one of these every day. I mean, there's just crazy things will happen when you have thousands of customers buying thousands of items. They're going to be uh, sort of quirky behavior patterns. And, and when you go and ask the customer about it, they have no idea. It turns out that somebody years ago started doing something for the wrong reason, and it's just pers it's, it's persisted to the present. So. We may find out that that uh, one percent of the 694, which would be about seven customers, are generating 30 percent of the line item picks, and they're all for uh, odd reasons that are easily sort of corrected. So we can we can usually solve losing items, which tend to be small margin dollar per pick items, but massively popular, uh, by either bundling them three per, four per, six per, whatever, or, and or going and finding the few customers that are buying enormous amounts of them and saying, hey, let's work something out. Now, if we did that, if we even just bundled 
uh, three per package, we would wind up consolidating uh, our picks, which in theory, you'd say, well, that doesn't save me any money because I still have people out there in the warehouse. I have to fire people to sort of, you know, realize that savings is the bottom line. But you're freeing up dynamic picking capacity, dynamic inside sales, writing the orders down the line items. And that those people will naturally flow to doing other things on their to-do list, which they can't get to because they're so busy taking care of losing activity right now. They can't go do higher level, more proactive activity. Um, now, that that that's to, happens to be the biggest loser. If we go down the list here, we could say, well, loser, loser, loser. Where's a where's a winner? And we say, oh, down here. Here's a here's an item where we made sixty two thousand dollars. We can see that it's some sort of dispenser napkin. I have no idea what this means, but um, sold a lot of them. A lot of, a lot of customers bought them. A lot of line items picked, and we we wouldn't necessarily. Uh, beef up an item by item, but we'd sort of say, well, is that item from what supplier? And we'd go to that supplier and find out that, oh, of the 120 items we buy from them, five, six, seven, ten 10 are all pretty popular, maybe profitable. And we would work with the supplier on a tune or fill rates higher to see if this wouldn't go up. And it will. We'll, we'll look at a case study later on in the, uh, the line item uh, profit analytics section where we go a little bit deeper in things. So this is, a, this is an example of an SKU popularity profitability report where we would use this to find the most popular items, winners or losers, fix the losers, and then in a sense strategically tune beef the, the safety stock to have higher effective fill rates on our best items tuned specifically to a niche of 20, 30, 40, 50 customers. In this case, this is the whole company. Um, and that would be a, a key tool that we'd use. Thank you.